Hello, Year 7. It's Mr. Caseman. I'm taking you through another speech writing lesson. Um, should we complete to this in another two to three weeks? Um, other classes are doing other parts of the units. So some are doing some of the units that we've done in the past, for example, um, Shakespeare or Sir Gawain. But we've completed that, so we're still looking at speeches. So today's lesson is on using a variety of techniques to make our writing interesting and to plan and write a speech. Some of your speeches have been great so far. You've been adding some detail, but we're trying to make sure you add more detail, explaining your ideas and making it more interesting by using techniques. Right, so below, what techniques have been used to improve the writing? The writing in the red is what you're focusing on. Read that and then consider how it's different to the writing in green. And I've underlined certain aspects of the writing in green to help you think about what techniques have been used. So once you've read through both of them, write down a few techniques that you think have been used to improve the writing and make it better in the green writing. So write down the language devices that you've spotted that I've used to improve the writing in the green section. For example, restrictions and restrictions have been lifted, shops open, and even the hairdressers and barbers are coming back soon. So there's three things I've written down there. Can you guess what technique that is? We must protect ourselves and we must protect those around us. So I've repeated these two things. What techniques, what technique is that? And this, there are so many things, there are so many things. And this one, the power rests with you. So you can pause this video and do that technique. Write down those techniques that I've used there to improve that writing. Okay, so now that you've done that, looking at our focus for today, it's on writing a speech for your fellow students, persuading them to stay alert when they go back to school. Right, so topics you could include are hy hygiene, social distancing, and anything else you might consider. So we're looking at using these devices that you've been using so far, um, but I've thrown in some other sentence structures, for example, if sentences, if we work hard, if we stay alert, if we focus on our hygiene, then, what will happen is an example there. You could use, think about your sentence lengths. So complex sentence, simple sentences, and very paragraph lengths. Think about a powerful conclusion. You're gonna be focusing on this and ticking what you've used. Flattery is a new one. So making people believe that they're the greatest ever. Looking back at my sentence, you can, sentences, you can see I've used a variety. I've used this simple sentence down here. I've used uh, a compound sentence by using and. I've used a complex sentence here. As you are already aware, restrictions have been lifted. So two parts of sentences separated by a comma, one being the, this is not the, the main clause, this is the, subordinate clause, and this is the main clause. So think about your sentence structures. All right, so your first task is going to be writing the opening of your speech. Um, it needs to have a formal greeting to the students, um, a short introduction of who you are and why you're speaking, and the reason what you have to say is important. You can look at my example that I've written. You could even reword some of it to make it your own. Uh, you might include the reasons and some of the things as a list of what you're hoping to achieve. You can add keywords such as canteen facilities. For example, if you're in the canteen, how do you think students should act? So this is just your opening paragraph about what you're, you're speaking about really before you go on to explaining these singular points. So again, you can pause this video right here and start formulating the opening 
paragraph of your speech. Okay, what we're going to do now is consider making some improvements to your opening paragraph. How can you improve it? After you've written the first paragraph, what I'd like you to do is write another paragraph, not the same paragraph again, but this time improved. What you're going to do with your old paragraph is you're going to underline all your nouns. Uh, for example, shops. I'll probably only underline the ones I think are important. An example for you. School. Um, and I'll do one more country. Where is it? Okay, so underline those. And it says, can you add some interesting ad adjectives? Um, so put, for example, amazing country. Vibrant shops and I'll choose to our amazing. I've already had amazing, so I'll put beautiful. Okay, so I've improved it already by adding three adjectives. So what I like you to do is, I know it says two adjectives, so you just add one adjective. One adjective to make them more interesting. So already you can see the improvement there just by adding these adjectives. Amazing country has done right, um, just to improve it. Can you add a contrasting sentence separated by a semicolon from mine? I'm going to put so instead of and I could put my semicolon right here. We must protect ourselves, we must protect those around us. So a semicolon can just really um, show add two come add two sentences together without using and for or so. They can also be contrasting sentences, but you can also just use them to separate. But I wouldn't overuse them. I'd use them sparingly. Can I add a rhetorical question? Can you imagine a world without? Okay. Oh, I didn't think can you imagine a world without would work. So I put, will you use your power? Just to add to this, this powerful short sentence right here. Have you made a clear judgment that expresses emotion or exaggeration? I think I have, because I've used that, that um, exclamation mark. I'm probably not exaggerated, have I? I don't think so but I have expressed emotion. What facts or opinions have you included? Um, I've included the facts about res um, restrictions being lifted and shops open and hairdressers being open. Have you used a simile or a metaphor? No, I haven't. Can I think of one? And stay as alert as an owl. Whether it is an owl or eagle, I guess one of those could work. But what I've done is try to improve this paragraph that I had previously, and now I've added another paragraph to show the improvement. So I'd like you to do that as well. The next task is for you to improve that paragraph that you wrote first, but I'd like to see both paragraphs separately. Okay, so this new paragraph must have its own improvement so I can see the difference between the first paragraph that you wrote for slide three and the one that you you have written for slide four. 
Okay, now that we've done that, uh, just cut that and paste that here. Please excuse the um, sirens. If you can hear that. I live on a busy intersection. All right, so the next thing you need to do is write another paragraph. Now, after you've written your first, your introduction, you need to start explaining the things that you're gonna be talking about. So if you're gonna say, talk about hygiene, uh, talk about social distancing and anything else, this is the first paragraph for you to explain that. So now consider your topic. Write a paragraph in which you explain what students need to do. So my first topic could be about hygiene or social distancing. Let me go with social distancing. The first thing I like students to do is, or first of all, I like to discuss. But one thing I'm keen for us all to remember is, I think I prefer this one. This one is a bit more, this is a bit different. Everyone's going to say the first thing in the first. So one thing I'm keen for us all to remember is to maintain So that's just for example, um, that's your first paragraph. It's going to be on, you need to explain that. Um, it would be great if we go back to the canteen, for example, we start um, having our little conversations. We all remember and what you're going to do with that is obviously write about it, explain it, and use some devices, some language devices. Uh, so what I'd say is explain. Okay. Explain your reasons for saying that. Why is it important? Um, use some devices. some facsimiles. Yeah. Um, think about your sentences. There's a few things you need to consider in that paragraph in terms of explaining not just one sentence. Explain further, give some reasons. Um, reasons is important. So think about these things in your first paragraph. So what you're doing today is writing an introduction, redrafting your introduction to improve it, and then doing a, a first explanation paragraph. Okay, the, the next thing for us to consider is consider how the following adjectives can be used to help improve your vocabulary. So you have a list of great vocabulary here to do with things that are good, and then things to do with what, are, what is bad. So if many people react more in speeches to positive reinforcement. So if you say, it would be magnificent if we all remembered to stay two meters apart. Um, it would be marvelous if we caught our sneezes in, our, um, in the pit of our arms and like the elbow region. Um, so think about how you use these. Um, Obviously, you can use some negative words, so it would be dreadful for us to forget uh, and eventually sneeze in some in our classmates' face, for example. Um, so yeah, think about how you use this vocabulary to improve your writing. So you can use them to obviously improve both paragraphs that you've or you've written, and then finally keep having this different success criteria here. But if you use this success criteria, um, to tick what you've done or write them down what you've done. Um, so if you said, oh, I've used a rule of three, write that down. Write down the techniques that you think you've used um, in your English, because many of you are not doing the plenary. I like to see the plenary. 
because I like to see what you've you've evaluated what you've done and you've kind of you're satisfied with it and that will show me that you've started um, using a variety of techniques and you've planned out a speech so three tasks for you today introduction opening paragraph a redraft of your opening paragraph adding these elements where you can like you saw me do um, the first thing you'll talk to your fellow classmates about maybe some improvements and the plenary so that's probably about four things not many and then we'll start we'll continue with that in the weeks to come adding more paragraphs making it better which obviously by the end we'll have a great speech um, for us to share uh, with the school probably or just with your, your um, family and with the rest of your classmates okay that's it for me until next week Stay safe.